to attend about four group challenge parties a quarter, or every four month cycle in my city. And about two of these, one of these, and one of these every four months. How many of you guys can commit to that in order to be very successful <laughs> in this business? It. It's a must. Yeah. It's an absolute yeah. must. Now, what happens at the end of the four months? This, repeat, this, repeat, this, repeat. Well, well, what about the end of that four months? Ah, uh, we're gonna try this one. And then what about, well, I don't get it. What do we do at the end of that four months? Nah, we're gonna go ahead and do that. Here's why events are so critical. How many of you, it's okay, be honest. How many of you guys have the feeling that you personally do not need to be motivated? Please raise your hand. One person, okay. <laughs> so, you have a feeling, or she does, that's uh, there's people that have a feeling that they don't need to be motivated. I don't need to go to events. I don't need to show up. I just make stuff happen, that's what I do. <laughs> but unfortunately, here's how the brain actually works, scientifically. Brain works like this. By, by the way, coming around right now, it looks like the regional success tour. I'll circle back to it in a second. Uh, Matt may have them. Thank you. Okay, here's how the brain works. Brain works like this. Your belief determines your actions and your actions determine your results. This is not up for debate. It's not an arguable statement. Your belief determines your what? Actions. And your actions determine your what? Results. So if you have low belief, you take low action on something, you get low what? Results. This is pretty simple. So here's the key. What determines your belief? Because there is something very specific Scientifically, that determines your belief. It's called your references. So the more you have reference to something, the more your belief goes up. Now, belief can be positive or negative, meaning if you meet someone you don't like, and every time you meet them, they're just a jerk every single time, you become more and more and more concrete in your belief that that's a really, 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 really big jerk. But if you meet someone that's really nice, and every time you meet them, they're more nice and more nice and more nice and more nice. You become kind of your belief that that person is really, 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 really nice. Raise your hand if you know what I'm talking about, right? Yeah. Happens all the time. So, in order for all of you to get a concrete belief system, you must have the most amount of references possible to our company. Well, the events deliver the most amount of references that we can deliver at any one given time in an area. So it's kind of like taking 500 people and bringing it to one person's house and saying, listen to this, listen to this, listen to this, listen to this. And then a regional, 1,500 people, listen to this, listen to this. A national, 12,000 people, listen to this, listen. We can't create, I can't, you can't. Your five star cannot recreate that type of belief. You can't bundle up those references and drop them off at your house. Well, my brain's different. I don't work like everyone else works. My brain is a different set of brains. Okay, fine. Let's say you're a special, ultra special human being and your brain does not operate off beliefs to determine your actions and actions to determine your results. You have some sort of other brain, freakish brain. Well, let's just all agree that everyone else goes off the, the scientific proven formula of belief determining your actions, actions determining results. If that's the case, you gotta get all your people into events so we can create what for them? Belief. Belief, belief does not mean that, it's not hype. Belief is references. That's it. Watch this. Raise your hand if you have, <laughs> not yet. If you, she's like. <laughs> Pick me. Oh, <laughs> Raise your hand if you have more belief today than you did yesterday about what we're doing. Hell yeah. Should I go any further of proving my points? Yeah. <laughs> so that was point proven. You've got to get your people into events because references, no matter how much you talk, see? 
no matter how much you talk and talk and talk and talk, or I talk and talk and talk and talk to your new person, to your new promoter, to your new leader, we'll never be able to create the same level of belief that the references will create. So I've got a few leaders here. I'm gonna run them up here as fast as I can that have been very successful in promoting events. I want them to talk to you guys for one minute each, one minute each. Scott Fellaini, Chris and Jay, Banzai, RJ, and John Power coming up. The rest of you guys give a big round of applause, please. Right, I only want this one slide, Dave. Okay. Uh, rapid fire. Whatever you guys want to say about our four-month cycle, our events, or anything you want to teach these guys as high-level leaders about the event cycle. Absolutely. Major decisions are made at major events. So every event to me is major. This is what I know from being in this industry for 17 years. Doctors go to the hospital, attorneys go to the courthouse, networkers go to events. That's what we do. Events build the business. Events build your people, so your people can go forth and build a business in a major, major way. All right, do we gotta have the enthusiasm talk again? <laughs> Wait for it, it's coming. We get the right language out, here we go. Um, my name is Bonsai Sikosi. As you can see, I am not, this is not my strength to speak in front of a large crowd. It's not this super nervous, which I am. But what I'm trying to say to you is that. Love you, man. Love you too. Thank you. <laughs> my strength is as promoter, fill the room. What does that mean to you? What it means to you is this you don't have to be up here to be successful. All you have to do is fill the room, fill the challenge party, fill the regional, fill all the seat that we're talking about right now. And I always say to all my people, listen, why should I go? Hey, Nick and these guys speak better in English than I do. You should go listen to them. <laughs> so, if, if you missed that, translation. Let the people who are really, 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 really good up here do our job and put us in front of as many people as you can. And hopefully, if it's what you want, you will be up here being one of the people that are speaking to that crowd. Just fill the seats. Awesome job. At events, it's where Vicelis goes from being a business to in your heart. All of a sudden, the story, the transformation, someone losing 100 pounds, someone going from bankruptcy to you know getting their house back is where you realize this isn't just a business. This is a vehicle for transforming lives. And the other thing is, we've been in two and a half, almost three years, but every single time we go, something else speaks to us, and that's what we need for our business, to take it to the next title, to the next level. We meet the next person, whether it's someone sideline, downline, wherever, and we have a conversation, and we're like, oh my goodness, we need to implement this into our business. It does not matter what rank you are, you can always grow, and that's what these events do, I promise you. It's gonna go from your head to your heart, and then all those things, those words, those naysayers, it doesn't even matter because you know you're speaking the truth and you're changing lives. Woo! Hit the pause button. Okay. Right. Now, remember, what we're used to is giving uh, uh, our normal training content. But we got to remember today, I'm not only training you as a new individual, but I'm training you to teach. So if what you just heard from her was, well, you know, I don't need it to go to my heart and all that other stuff, your people do. You've got to understand this has got to go past you to the 200, 300, 500, 700, 1,000 people that you're going to have in your team. So maybe you can't connect with what she's saying, but your 1,000 people absolutely positively will. Scott, go ahead. My name is Scott Fellaini. I'm a five-star ambassador from Jacksonville, Florida. I, um, one thing that I learned early on from Nick and Kyle and uh, some of the other leaders was that I didn't really have to develop any sort of skill set other than filling up a vehicle and taking people to events. <laughs> Literally, uh, uh, my entire success, the entire run to five star was nothing more 
than solving for X to get as many people as humanly possible to the regionals, to the nationals, to the locals, to, um, in front of these people and literally let them do it for me. Um, you can pretty much gauge one qualified person at an event is gonna translate into approximately $2,000 in volume. And so if you wanna go national director, get 20 people to the event, have them engaged, keep their butts in the seats, and, um, and, uh, and, and you'll grow. That's it. Very good. Yeah. Um, I'm Shauna Fellini, I'm his other half from Jacksonville, Florida, and um, you know, one thing that Nick had said in one of the other events, and, and it's amazing, I have gone to every single event, and every time that I'm there, even as a five-star, I learned something new. He gave a symbolism of whenever he was a little kid, he was on a merry-go-round, right? And so he loves challenges, obviously. And so his challenge is there was kids that he would be the one that would spin the, the uh, merry-go-round as fast as he could. And these kids are all screaming and hollering and everything, and then he would stop it, okay? That's the symbolism of this business. If you are spinning and your business is flying and you do not go to those events, and the people that are in your business see that you're not going, then that is going to stop that merry-go-round. That's gonna stop your business. So we're all here, we're very intelligent, but we need to become ignorant and put aside our pride and go and lead them because they are following you. So step up, go to these events. They, were, they will take you and make you become a champion in this business. Had an amazing experience today. Anyone had an amazing experience today? Yeah. And how many of you realize it's really hard to put into words? <laughs> you know, it's uh, it, it's funny. I heard Elaine Linus say once. She said, "If you go to a great concert and you have the most amazing experience, and you go up to someone and say, I went to this concert, just so awesome.' <laughs> they don't really get it. How many of you know what I'm talking about? Uh, it's so hard to translate an experience. You know, uh, we, we struggled so much before we joined Vistalis, myself and my wife. And, uh, you know, uh, Kristen Johnson was someone that we, you know, trusted us enough to join this business. And we went to our, the pre-launch of Canada. A year after the pre do you guys understand? A year after the today, we came to a, a launch event, like a follow-up launch event. She was an RD, we were NDs. And I looked on the stage and I said, I can do better than that, I can do better than that, I can do better than that. And it gave me belief in myself. And we literally, in 12 months, no, no, nowhere near the amount of success, not influential, neither of us, all four of us went to five star uh, from January, that was in February of 2011, December of 2011. And uh, like literally, we grew 15 to 80% every single month. Some months went from 400 to 750 like 400,000 in sales to 715,000 in sales. You guys get that, yeah? yeah? From filling butts and seats. This is the bread and butter of your business. You cannot share an experience. They have to be there. Give it up to all of them, guys. in the back real quick. I need some help. I need a volunteer from the audience. Where is uh, where's Noreen at? Noreen, are you here? I need, I need your, uh, I need you real quick for a thing to talk about. Go. The problem with the car driver. So, sorry. This is the take, this take. So on this card, you forgot to write down that it's your birthday today. They will purposely, like in the dugout, they'll ignore them. And they won't pay attention to walking around like this, trying to high five somebody. So I've been stonewalling Noreen all day long. So I could get to this point and embarrass the heck out of her for her birthday. 
Now, if you guys don't know who uh, Noreen is, she is uh, my and Ashley's executive planner. Um, she is like uh, your, you know, your, your executive uh, assistant on like a thousand shakes a day type thing. Like she is ridiculous. We've been working together for seven years, eight, seven years, uh, eight years, six, seven, eight, what else? Okay. And um, the, literally the most amazing person I've ever worked with on the corporate side. This is my, and this, I, I would not have any idea where to go, when I'm supposed to be there. <laughs> who I'm supposed to be meeting with if it was not for this individual. Yeah. So, but I gotta tell you a funny story. And it'll be done, it'll take a second. When our 10th um, personal assistant met me and Ryan were sharing quit in a row. <laughs> true story, it's probably six. Um, he's like, all right, well, I'm gonna, we gotta split up because we're burning these people out. He's like, I'm gonna take you know, this person and you're gonna take Noreen from the marketing department. I was like, hold on. You want like this 19 year old girl to run my life, right? I was like, I, this isn't gonna happen, dude. I, I'm not taking, you know, the, this, no way. So we started working together, she's doing a good job, and one day I asked the question you're never supposed to ask an employee, which is, how old are you, by the way? It turns out, I found out she was older than I was. <laughs> I thought she was like right out of high school, and this girl's gonna be trying to run my life. And at that exact point, I was like, it's all yours, take over. And it turns out that today, she's only 29, 99, 99, 99, 99. She's 29 and some change, and her name, her name is Noreen, and you guys are gonna help me give her the best happy birthday song she's ever had. Are you guys ready? Here we go. One, two, three. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Noreen. Here's what's going to, um, here's what's going to dictate your next 12 month success. Now, two stories. Two stories. Story number one, your challenge story. I don't care what your challenge story is, but it's got to be the first thing that leads uh, uh, your business. It's got to be your personal challenge story. Think about a personal challenge story is it's what? It's personal. personal. So it's easy for you to get excited and passionate about something that's personal to you. This is one of the biggest things that uh, people miss that aren't in our company. Our product to you is not personal. Our competitors' products to you are not personal. But your challenge, the one that you're taking for you, is very what? Personal. And because it's personal to you, you have this conviction when you're sharing it with people about the marathon that you're gonna run, or the 5K, or the 20 pounds, or the three dress sizes, or the cholesterol, or the whatever, that you're gonna change in the next 90 days. It's meaningful to you, so when you talk to people about it, they can see you getting lit up. But when you're selling a product, it's like, oh, this is bottle stuff. I'm not that excited about it, but I'm running in place. And people are like, this, uh, this is not you. This is not you. But when you're talking about your personal challenge, it is you, because it's personal to you. Your challenge story, you better know what the heck it is that you're trying to do. And I'm excited for those of you guys that have weight to lose, because you have an advantage. You do, you have an advantage. Right? That story is way better, way stickier. Way more received, way sexier than the story of the person like, did you know I kayak the Amazon? <laughs> you know what that makes people feel like? Great, I definitely can't do this challenge, right? <laughs> people relate to I've lost 20 pounds, I've lost 30 pounds, I've dropped five dresses, whatever. But you gotta get serious about it and go after it aggressively. We're Skip that. Skip stand up, is one of our Body by Body champions, by the way. Earlier on stage, Skip said arguably the most important thing having to do with your challenge today. He said every single time you want to eat a cheeseburger or you eat a cheeseburger, take $100 and throw it in the trash. Flush it down the toilet. See, I need you guys to associate 
one of two things. Either you're going to get serious about your challenge because you know you have to personally. It's the right thing to do for your body. It's the right thing to do for your health. Or do it for your business. I don't care which reason you pick, but you now get paid to lose weight. You now get paid to go to the gym, and you now get paid to make healthy lifestyle choices. I told you earlier, I actually lied. I said breakfast. You're, you're whatever you ate for lunch. That's the last supper. That's it. It's done. <laughs> no more of whatever the garbage is for 90 days. Just do it for 90 days. Watch what happens to your body and watch what happens to your business. So your challenge story, take it real serious. Because every time you talk about a challenge, everyone wants to know how yours is going. Number two, your business story. Business story number one, the first story that everybody wants to know and that you want to tell is this. I qualified for the car in this many days. That's the story that hunts. After three and a half years, 19,000 plus BMWs, turns out people really want to know how fast you did it. What's silly about this is I could take $600 and put it in your bank account and nobody would notice a difference. But if I put a BMW in your driveway, immediately everyone wants to know what changed, what happened, what are you up to, how do I do it, how many talk about this, I'm open. So, I can't put a number on this. I, I think I got the heat on in this joint. <laughs> I was like, hey, hey, Michigan, you got one month a year that it's warm. You want to turn the heat on that month? I'm from Michigan. I can say that stuff. All right. So if anyone wants to have a, a chat with those folks, you know what? We're going to sweat this weight off. Let's go. <laughs> Okay, thank you. So your second story is how fast you qualified for the BMW. I cannot quantify this with uh, an actual percentage. I can only give you my intuitive experience. Here's my experience. My experience tells me that the grand majority of all people that have a great story to tell a year from now, financially, is because they nailed the BMW real quick. The grand majority, not all of them. We got guys that get on stage like, it took me eight years to hit a master. And there's standing ovations. And people are like, this guy's got commitment. And they, they're crying and we're crying and we love them for the fact that it took them eight years. Do any of you guys want to take eight years? No! BMW stories gotta happen now. Now. The faster, the better. Now some of you guys are gonna have it done before we even press go on the 15th. In fact, if you've already got it done before we press go during this pre-launch, stand up. There's one, two, three, four, five. We got one more right here that's four applications away. That's six people. And seven. Not six, seven. Seven minute apps. Pick it up later, okay. Um, so what does this tell us? First of all, they got a story. Here's a story that you don't tell, you seven. Don't go around going, I qualified for my BMW in negative eight days. This is awesome. <laughs> I wouldn't say, I qualified for a BMW the first second I signed up, because that's not going to resonate either. I would say, any of you guys that qualified before day one, you qualified your first week. You qualified for your first week. Now the rest of you guys, here's what you want to do. Here's you. The easiest way to qualify for your BMW is how many stars equals a car? Six. One, two, three, four, five, six. What I would do if I were you is I would enroll all six of them. I wouldn't get three and stop and go, I hope you three do the rest. 
Because now you're at the mercy of your three. I would enroll a minimum of six. Well, how am I going to do that, Nick? Do I start calling people up and say, I'm going to enroll you? Nope. Here's what you're going to do. You're going to have a challenge party, and you're going to have it in the next seven days. Otherwise, the math does not work. It, guys, we get a 45-day run. You can't be like, well, you know, I'm going to wait about three weeks for the perfect time for my challenge. Okay, you got 22 days left in your run? Doesn't work. It's got to be in your first seven days. You have a challenge party. In order for us to get six promoters on the executive, it's going to take 25 people at your house. 25 people at your house will get six promoters. I want your auntie, your cousin, your neighbor. I want everybody. I need you to remove the influencer uh, 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 strategy from your mind and put on our normal doing business as. Get rid of the old strategy. Burn after reading. We've read it. Burn it. Well, I don't talk to influencers anymore? No, that's not what I'm saying. I'm saying you don't talk to them any differently than the way we talk to everybody else. Except now, at the end of the challenge party, you got your three influencers out of 20. I need to have lunch with you tomorrow. We need to go out for a glass of wine tonight. I'm going to have a breakfast with you tomorrow. You do it on the back end. You don't lead with business now. You don't lead with, I got this big business opportunity. I got this big business. It's challenge, 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 challenge. It's worked so far for us, so don't panic. <laughs> so far, it's brought on 2.5 million customers, so don't worry. You just need to shift it from business, 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 business to challenge, 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 challenge. And our business people we meet with afterwards. Not before, but afterwards. Come down and check out the what? Challenge. Challenge. Check out the what? Challenge. Check out the what? Challenge. I don't care if you want to make money. I don't care if you don't want to participate. I don't care if you, just check out the channel. Get up. You need to lose 10 pounds. You need to lose 20 pounds. You need to do this with me. And you guys know you can say that to your brother. Don't act like you can't say that to your brother. <laughs> How many of you guys can have straight talk with your closest friends and family, right? I listen, I mean, I, I have an Italian family. You should hear what we say to each other at Christmas. <laughs> so I know what you're allowed to say in your inner circle. Say it. Say it. Uh-uh, no, 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 you're doing this challenge with me. Let's go. Because what will happen is, by the time the presentation's over, a lot of them get in for the business. And if they don't, the follow-up conversation you have for 30 minutes, they get in there. And if they don't, once they lose 10 pounds, they get in there. So you don't have to lead with business. Flip it. I need everyone. I need all hands on deck. Remove the e-brake and let's go. Watch this. Uh, Fellaini. Approximate numbers to all five stars. How many people did you call in your first week? Fellaini, go. Over 200. Over 200. Where am I the five stars at? Over I can't 200. see you. Joni. 100. Stand up, five, so I can see you guys. Not, not that good at that. Over how many? 100. The first week. First week. Over 57 my first day. 57 first day. 150. 125. 125. 78 first day. 167. 300? Over 200. Over 200? 140. 140. 80 in two days. 80 in two days. 50. 50. Over 